welcome back guys in previous video uh, we started understanding creating a Jenkins job to deploy spring application in Tomcat server we downloaded and installed the Tomcat server and which is running on the port number 2020 we configured a admin user with a role call manager fn script now so here we can see that Tomcat server is running on port number 2020 and we open admin console of the tomcat with 2020 we can see this tomcat admin console that means our tomcat server is up and running now the next step install deploy container plugin in jenkins now so already our jenkins server is running with port number 8181 let's log in into jenkins application now this is our jenkins url username admin password also admin click on sign in here let us go for an option called manage jenkins click on this here we have a option called manage plugins click on this option now so here we can choose what are the plugins are available for us to install what are the plugins already installed what are the advanced plugins are there let's go for available tab here type deploy yes so deploy to container is the name of the plugin so deploy to container I am typing is a container so it is giving all the options which is having that word so now I am going for deploy to container select this checkbox now click on this install without restart here we can see that it is performing some operations now deploy to container plugin is installing these are all, all the plugins which are already installed now this is the new plugin we are installing still it is in progress yes successful go back to top page yes now so the plugin got installed now let me log out once and let's restart our jenkins server i am pressing ctrl c jvm is terminating now again start the jenkins this is the command i am giving with port number of 8181 my jenkins is getting started go to home page reload still server is starting so here we are restarting because that deploy to container plugin should be reflected in our jenkins server now once the server got started now we will create a jenkins job to deploy git repository project into tomcat server now server got started Jenkins is fully up and running now once this message is printed that means our Jenkins server is started successfully let's log in admin admin sign in yes we are able to log in into Jenkins now let's create a new job new item enter name spring form application i'm giving as this job name freestyle project clicking on ok description we can enter some information here this is jenkins job to deploy get repo maven project to tomcat server this is github project project repository url so this is the project repository url source code management git 
give the URL credentials Jenkins credentials we are giving and Jenkins admin credentials master branch build triggers I want to trigger this build with poly SCM that means whenever there is a change in the repository then we need to start build processing here now build environment delete workspace before build starts whenever the new build is getting started I want to delete the existing workspace folder of the Jenkins select this checkbox now go to build add build setup here we can choose invoke top level maven targets to execute maven goals like clean compile test package now next one add post build action first time we are adding here click on this button here we can see one option called deploy war r e a r to container so earlier we installed a plugin to get this option only now click on this it is asking which war file you want to deploy that war file will be created under target folder spring form app dot war so inside the target this war file will be there that war file deploy to tomcat server context path i am leaving as a blank here containers to which server jenkins should deploy the war file we need to choose here so let's click on this button add container here it is supporting for multiple containers i am choosing one option called tomcat 7.x because already we installed the tomcat 7 server now credentials add jenkins here we need to add tomcat admin credentials which is having manage rifle script role so previously we configured admin admin this is tomcat admin click on add this is tomcat admin credentials i'm adding tomcat url http colon localhost colon 2020 where our tomcat server is running now click on apply save so we created a job to take the code from git repository and build that code by using maven and deploy the project to tomcat server now first build got triggered so it is in progress click on this number go to console output here we can see that deleting project workspace cloning git repository with the given git repository url executing maven goals clean surfire compiler plugins now package here we can see that build success so that means our war file is created under target and we added extra configuration for deploying into tomcat server now here it is executing that de deployment processing so to deploy to tomcat server we configure tomcat server with 2020 port number once if this deployment is successful in the tomcat admin console under list applications we should be able to see our spring form application now go to tomcat list applications click on this currently still application is not deployed go to jenkins admin console still it is executing once the deployment is completed it will display success then we can see that application will be deployed to tomcat server let us wait until it completes checking the tomcat admin console spring form app build action completed successfully yes we have allowable job 
for every one minute you can see that every for every one minute the job is getting triggered and it is getting success spring form app got triggered only once because that is a SCM once the changes are detected in the repository then only build is going to trigger only first time that build got a triggered here still it is deploying Yes, under the Tomcat server admin console, we can see that application got deployed. Now, here we can see in the Jenkins admin console, build got success, deployment also got success. Go to Tomcat admin console, refresh this. Here we can see that Spring Form app got deployed. So, right click, open link in new tab. We should be able to access our Spring MVC application which is running on the Tomcat server with 2020 port number. Click on this link, just username, password, user email id, click on register. So registration successful with below details. That means we are able to access our Spring application which is running on the Tomcat. So here we have created a Jenkins job to automate this process our configuration of this job you can check in configure option here created a job source code management we gave as a git this is the project repository url added the jenkins admin credentials here selected the branch as a master under build trigger pull scm with cron expression whenever there is a change in the repository that build should be triggered in the build environment delete workspace before build starts under build option we configured maven goals for cleaning compilation test and packaging post build action here we are telling to which is server our war file should be deployed that war file will be available in this location we are adding a container called tomcat here we added tomcat admin credentials and we are specifying what is the URL of the Tomcat? That Tomcat server which is running on 2020 port number. Now click on apply and save. So whenever there is a change in the repository, deployment will start. Build sorry, build will start first, then the code will be deployed to Tomcat server. We can check that in the Tomcat admin console. Go to list applications. Here our application is reflecting. So so this is Tomcat, sorry, jo Jenkins job creation with Tomcat server deployment. Thank you for watching.